Hey everybody and welcome to a new video. Thanks again for uh, tuning into my channel. Um, this video, as you can see from the title, is all about the reason why I do not do New Year's resolutions. Um, I'm not a believer in them. I'm not a believer in the concept. I think there are a lot of flaws to inherently just thinking that you're going to suddenly change everything after one day just because it's a new year, you know? It's like, uh, it's just that you're set up for failure. So I want to break down a few reasons why uh, it doesn't work for me and why I think you should reconsider the strategy that I do instead. It is way better to be constantly updating your goals and adjusting your strategies, adjusting you know, what your plans are as new information comes in, as things and circumstances change, and as you are able to uh, achieve certain achievements, you know, then all of a sudden you might have a new goal. You know, you want to have these smaller chunks that are more digestible, they're easier for you to be able to achieve, uh, but they also are building you towards the larger goal with the idea in mind that you will hit that larger goal, but it's not then setting up so much pressure that you then, you know, analysis paralysis and you don't do anything about it because you're just constantly thinking about how I need to achieve this big thing that is honestly so far out that you should be more concerned about what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, that slowly builds you towards that larger dream. I do use the end of the year as a reflection period and I do think about, well, what did I like about the past year? You know, what were things that I did? Um, how did it start out? What were my expectations for the year? How well did I live up to the expectations, of whether it's of myself or, you know, from other people? Um, and then based on that, what should I set my future goals to be? And I really think about the goals in kind of like different chunks of the year. So, you know, the first couple months of the year, what do I want to achieve? What do I want to achieve in like the middle parts of the year? Uh, what do I want to achieve in like the fall? And then how do I want to wrap up the year? And I do this in a very general way. Um, I feel like having too many expectations on a specific outcome, it sets you up for failure. You're likely to feel worse about it if it doesn't go exactly how you're expecting it. And I find that for me, I'd rather have a general idea of what I want to do and be totally agnostic about how it is going to play out. Because that's the fun of life, man. Do you really want to know everything that's going to happen to you before it happens? Like, of course not, right? So I think... You know, part of the fun is is the how, but for sure you do want to know the what, or at least have an idea of what you believe the what is uh, in terms of your goals. So when I first start out the year, I go through, I reflect on the, the past year, I base off of that progress in whatever my current goals are, and I update those goals. I know I'm doing this stuff right. Let's keep doing those things. That thing is still building me towards whatever. So in the case of the, the end of this year, uh, I've been doing a really good job with my diet. And I've been uh, doing a really good job with like working out and I've been losing weight, which I'm excited to make a video about that um, when I reach the goal. I, I want to reach the goal weight first. So I'm excited about those goals. Those are things that, hey, it's basically just stay the course. I will eventually hit it, right? Um, for my other goal, obviously this channel, man, this channel is, uh, I, I had no idea that in December, all of a sudden this channel is going to blow up. Uh, and to go from literally, I think... At the beginning of December, I didn't even have, I didn't even have a hundred subscribers. Uh, I was like happy to get the hundred, and then all of a sudden, here I am now. At the time of this recording, I'm just a little over nine hundred subscribers. I'm and I'm this close to monetization, uh, which is crazy. I would have never guessed that in the beginning of December, and so I think that that actually is a microcosm of why you can't plan for that. <laughs> because how could I have planned for one video to randomly take off? And then using that video, I did strategically make a follow-up video to that video so that hopefully I could ride the momentum of it. And that paid off too. I dropped that video and after four days has almost 17,000 views. All my videos on the, this channel before were like nobody watching, like 20, vi 20 views, 30 views, 40 views. Like you got to leave some leeway of that things are going to go in a way that you cannot possibly plan, that you couldn't possibly predict. Uh, but you want to be generally moving in the right direction, right? And when you do a New Year's resolution specifically, it's this concept of like, I'm going to drop everything and suddenly everything is going to go this way and I'm just going to change things. And the reality is that we can't just do that more often than not. Uh, human behavior, predictability, homeostatic impulse, um, these are not just terms I'm throwing out. The, there, there's reasons why we are 
predisposed to staying with whatever we've already been doing. And so when we want to do something different, um, oftentimes we have to do it strategically. We have to replace something with whatever that thing is that we no longer want to do. We have to replace it with something else. But we don't want to change too many things at the same time. Because if you change too many things at the same time, uh, you're disrupting too many different flows and your brain is going to reject it and it's eventually going to force you right back into the comfortable uh, rivets that you were already in before. What's more realistic is that you slowly build out small habits that are easily changeable and substitutable and you do it piece by piece. So uh, I'll use the example that I've already used in my other videos where I talk about quitting smoking weed. Um, that seems to be successful for me on this channel. I'm not going to make this channel all about that, but I do think it's a good microcosm of how I change the behavior in myself, right? I'm not an expert dude. I'm just a fucking person, but I am a person who has at least successfully changed one behavior. When I did that, I focused more on the aspects of replacing weed with, in my case, exercise, because exercising was another goal I already wanted to do. And then I was able to replace the act of smoking and everything with that activity, which had like a twofold benefit, right? It was helping me physically. I was getting back in better shape. It helped my mental health, which was going to be necessary because when I'm taking out using a substance that alters my brain chemistry, uh, then I got to do something else that alters my brain chemistry on some level. And luckily, you know, fitness helps with uh, releasing endorphins and uh, it certainly helps with your dopamine levels. Um, and so for me, I replaced one bad habit with a good one and I kind of killed two birds with one stone. So there are ways that you can do that where you're like, okay, I'm going to take this thing that I don't want to do and I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to subtract it out and I'm going to put it with something that I do want to do. That's it. Don't try to do another thing. Okay. Keep it simple. <laughs> it, it takes time to build up a habit. And if you have a habit, uh, after like four weeks or so, it's usually, it, it's enough that you can kind of trust that you can keep that momentum going. Um, because motivation is not always there and you cannot rely on motivation to change things because motivation is fleeting, right? You have days you feel motivated. You have days that you don't. So what's more important is to build in a process in your life that whether you want to do it or not, you it's kind of built into the routine, right? And so whether I'm motivated, whether I'm excited to uh, or not, I always make sure that I work out now. Like I just, it, it's something I have to do. And so when I replaced that habit, you know, of smoking weed with the physical fitness, it helped me get to the place that I needed to go in order to truly kick the weed habit while at the same time fulfilling my other desire, which was to get back in shape, you know, to be, to be physically fit again in a way that I, I used to be many years ago. Instead of trying to do new year's resolutions, make small changes, um, try to change only one thing at once and establish that pattern of behavior through systems and organization. Do this periodically throughout the year. Don't wait until December 31st to start planning what you want to do in the next year. Like, no, you have a plan. Maybe on January 1st is an opportunity to plan for the next two, three months, but you got to have this long, long-term goal that you set for yourself in the year right? You have something that you want to like where you want to be generally in a few different aspects of your life by the end of the year. That's fine. You could plan that in the beginning of the year if you want. But what is smarter is that you take time to constantly adjust and realign what those goals are as new information uh, is, is provided to you as the situation changes for you based on whatever else, you know, life happens and serendipity and random things. Um, and then make micro adjustments throughout the year as you go and try to break it up into, you know, several month periods where it's enough time that you can make progress on something and feel really good about. But it's also short enough that if something isn't working, you can you can pivot and change directions uh, in whatever that thing is. So it could be a goal career wise. It could be a goal in your, your fitness life. It could be uh, a goal in your love life, whatever. Right. So no matter what it is. Set small short-term goals with some long-term goal in mind and do not be afraid to change what those are. Do not feel like you have to be married to any particular goal or ideal because we're human beings. We evolve. We learn things. We develop 
new perspectives. We meet new people and our life trajectory can change dramatically based on that. So why would we set too many expectations in such a specific way when the reality is, is that too many things are unpredictable and outside of our control. And so we just have to focus on the things that we can control. Um, and I say this again, not as an expert, I'm just a person. Okay. I'm just a person who has learned this over time. And I do believe I have some wisdom to share to you guys, uh, to, to try to just, I don't know, be better. <laughs> that's really like, that's kind of the mode that I've been in is that I just want to be better. I just want to evolve. I want to improve my skills, my craft. I want to be a better person. I want to push myself to new heights. I want to, I want to, I want to limit break like Goku, you know, I want to, I want to get to a place that I have never been before. And there's something so exciting about that. And like, for me now, like I have this whole new goal this year in terms of what I want to achieve here on YouTube and on this platform. And thanks to all of you guys, I'm like so inspired. I'm so excited to just keep making videos for you. I have so many ideas. I seriously have so many videos that uh, are in my head in terms of uh, s stuff that's coming in the year. And so I'm excited to share it all with you. I'm excited to uh, take this YouTube game to the next level. And I hope that you guys are all along for the ride. So definitely be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and watch my last one, uh, which I will have linked here. It's a really good one. I think it's a banger. I think you guys will enjoy it. And uh, I got a new video that is actually dropping this week that I already had recorded. And it's actually uh, older than this one. Uh, but I already recorded it and I said it and I kind of wanted to do this one uh, because it's timely. It's about New Year's, man. It just happened. So uh, probably uploading this one before that one. Uh, but be sure to check that one out in like a couple days when that one comes out. All right. Thanks again. I appreciate you all. Peace out and uh, stay positive.